This is the new favorite of mine, is the Skywatcher Aza GTI and uh, as you may know this is an Altas mount, it is sold and is born for doing planetary work and observation but with the proper firmware update it can also be used for deep sky astrophotography as it allow the firmware allows it to work uh, in equatorial mode, in a real equatorial mode. Now the question is how do we upgrade the firmware? So um, you want to do that, of course, if you have uh, the standard firmware and you want to unlock the equatorial mode, or if you already have the equatorial firmware but you suffer from uh, runaway declination when you uh, when you guide. This is a known problem for firmware from 3.2 upwards, and now um, Skywatcher released a few days ago the version, the firmware version 3.32 and that supposedly will cure the problem so if you have, if you're stuck to the 3.2 uh, which was the last version of the firmware that was manageable with the guiding and declination then you may want to uh, update to the latest version of the firmware so how we do that and this is about and this is the argument of this video how do we update and upgrade the um, firmware for the AZ GTI. The first things we do is to turn the mount on and uh, let it create its own uh, its own wireless network. Now, while we wait for the AZ GTI to create its own network, we go to the Skywatcher website from Support, Software and Firmware, and we need to download the Motor Controller Firmware Loader. I suggest you to download the Wi-Fi version so that we can work in Wi-Fi and uh, do everything wireless. Now, you may note that this type of this loader is only available for Windows. So. If you are on a Mac, you need to have Windows somehow. Uh, you can create a virtual machine, a Windows virtual machine using VirtualBox, as I'm doing right here with my older MacBook Pro. That's why I have also a M1 MacBook Pro, but uh, uh, at the moment, it's a bit difficult to create a virtual machine, a Windows virtual machine that properly works on the M1 uh, um, computer. So if you, are, if you have an M1 computer and only that, you may be better off seeking for a friend that has a Windows machine and will be, that will be kind enough to let you update the firmware on your mount. So next you need to download the um, firmware that is the latest version is the 3.32 and this is the firmware for the AZ GTI mount right arm AZ EQ dual mode. Okay, I have already downloaded the two programs and I have already extracted all of the needed files so we can go here and we find the firmware loader. Now before launching the application what we need to do is to connect to the SynthScan uh, wireless that is the one that is created by the ESA GTI. Here because I'm using a virtual machine I go I connect my Apple computer directly to the SynthScan network and then the virtual machine will bridge through it. So now we are connected to the mount, we, we launch the firmware, we can get an error message but because Windows may not recognize this program as a safe program so anyway we choose to run. And now here we have to select the proper firmware, so let's do the select the AZ AQ, the 3.32, okay, and now we simply go update the computer trying to connect to the uh, ASA GTI so let's see how it goes now you see that is loading the motor control unit the update is complete and now we can turn off the mount Okay, so now it's time to verify that everything went okay. So we turn the ASA GTI back on, we let him create the, the wireless and we use a tablet or a smartphone to connect to it. Now here there is my iPad, it is already connected to the, to the mount. So we can go now to the scene scan application and we click on connect. Now you see that the mount has been found and I'm prompted out to choose between 
the use of the Altas mode or the equatorial mode. So I choose the equatorial mode, select OK to the warning, and then I go to information, I scroll down until found the version and check for the motherboard version that is actually the 3.32 that is the firmware we have already uh, we have just uploaded now this concludes the easy procedure to update the firmware for the HDI. simply download the loader that works in Wi-Fi. use a Windows computer choose your firmware to install and then let the software do the rest. The same procedure works if you want to downgrade the firmware to a previous version, roll back to a previous version, then you can do exactly the same, just use uh, older firmware on the firmware loader and then you can roll back to whatever version you want. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time.